Hey guys, Tom here. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you how to do some basic JavaScript to make a Java based application. So, what you need to do first of all, which I would recommend because uh, you might need to change the file uh, extension of a file here because we're going to be using text files and we're going to be changing them into HTML files and so forth. So, anyway, uh, what you want to do is you want to open up Explorer. You want to go to Organize, uh, Folder and Search Options, then to View, and then you want to untick this box, Hide Extensions for Known File Types. After doing that, hit Apply and hit OK. Then we get down to the actual part of what we're doing here. So first of all, uh, this, this is going to be opening up in your browser, basically. And so it's going to be more or less like a web page. So what you want to do to open it up is you want to do HTML. Uh, so you know, as you can see here, we've got the uh, the greater thing and the lesser. So then, just to make it um, neat, I'm just going to leave a space here, and it really doesn't matter because. Um, well, I'll show you why it doesn't matter. It, it, there's going to be basically that, and then there's going to be another one of those, but with a forward slash, and it really doesn't matter as long as you've got the text in between those two. So what I'm going to say is, is hello there, guys. I made a web page, and then I'm going to do uh, this time uh, greater forward slash HTML lesser uh, lesser and that then ends the command so and then we're going to do our code so this is going to be script and then I'm going to put alert and then I'm going to put um, thanks for visiting my web page Please do come back again soon. So as you can, uh, so right there it says alert. Then we've got the um, the bracket, and then we've got the uh, speech marks. Thanks for visiting my web page. Please do come back again soon. Now the reason why I've, I've done that um, is because. It, it makes it actually pop up in a window. So there's actually going to be a window that pops up and actually says that text right there. Now, if you want to just leave it at that, all you do is you just do this. You just do, um, forward that, uh, slash script like that. But, if you want to do another alert, so therefore you're going to be making another window pop up, you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to put a, semicolon right there and then you'll do another alert so we'll do another one and um, here we'll, we'll, we will say um, remember this site of mine is called tom.com so then there's going to be yet another window that pops up with that so um, let's see, is there anything more that I can put to this? Uh, I know some more stuff, but basically what we've just done is we have created a Java application. So what I'm going to do now is just simply go to File, Save As. Then I'm going to go to Desktop, and then uh, you want to do All Files. I'm going <coughs> I'm, I'm going to call this Tom's webpage.html and then save. So there we go. And so now it's actually time to run the application. So there we go. Firefox opens up and it says, Thanks for visiting my webpage. Please do come back again soon. Okay. 
Remember, this site of mine is called Tom.com. Hello there, guys. I made a web page. So, that's it, really. So, thanks for watching this video. Um, if we actually, if we, if we just open up that up again, and then we do Control U. This is actually the source of it. So this right here is everything that I've just been typing. And that's actually what we call the source of the file. So that's that's the file as we get it and we get those two windows. But this is actually like the the um the, the heart of the file. And actually if we just if we actually just um name this back to a dot text file and then we go to the browser and take off um, HTML, uh, HTML and name it text so when you view the source code that's actually what you're viewing you're actually viewing it in the text format so I just thought I might, I might do that for you just show you and teach you how to do it um, when it comes to making an actual uh, EXE application, you know, so something that just runs on its own or whatever, um, you need something like uh, Visual C or Visual Basic. Um, but that's much more complicated. Personally, I would actually just start off with JavaScript because I find it quite easy to do. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope that taught you something. Uh, I hope it, you find it useful or whatever. Um, please comment, rate, and, sub um, and subscribe if you like my videos. Uh, sorry, if I seem to be a bit tongue-tied when I do these videos. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching and good night.